welcome back to my channel. I am standing in my kitchen today because I have kind of a two part video for you. I have a grocery haul for you. That'll be the beginning part of this video. And then I've talked about in a previous video that I am working on making a food stockpile and getting some emergency preparedness items, kind of putting those things away. And in that first video that I did talking about preparing and all that, like what to prepare and where to store it. I gave you some ideas in that video of places you may be able to put any type of stockpile that you're working to grow in your home. So I'll link that video for you in the description box. Today I am actually working on, well, my grocery haul and then working on building extra food storage that's not in my kitchen. So I have done videos in the past of my pantry organization, which I don't have a dedicated pantry i just have this cabinet but we call it our pantry um so i have done everything i can in that space to utilize all the vertical all the horizontal space so i needed a place to put overstock food and supplies that we are putting back for our stockpile so the second part of this video is going to be my what we're doing to make extra room in our house somewhere maybe a little unconventional to be able to start storing some of those stockpile items so hopefully it'll give you an idea of kind of what's working for us at least in the beginning it's definitely an ever-evolving process i'm sure as i get more and more things or as we learn more and more about how to prepare and how to do a you know grow a stockpile and all that i'm sure that things will change over time, but this is kind of our jumping off point where we're starting from, how we're making space in our house for extra food and supplies and things that we're gathering and kind of keeping us, putting aside. So if you want to see my grocery haul slash our stockpile beginning stages, then stay tuned. Okay, so I just went and did my grocery pickup and a lot of this stuff is just regular stuff I needed for the week, but I have been gradually adding to my stockpile and I'll show you the things that are kind of stockpile items when I get to them. But starting over here, I have some Bob Evans potatoes. I did get some matches just to have on hand because the only other type of lighter we have are the ones that like run out of fuel. So I figured for our stockpile, it would be a good idea, a good idea to have some matches. We also obviously use toothpaste, but this was a good deal and there was a coupon. So I got two more toothpaste to add to our collection of toothpaste same thing with the bar soap it was a really good price and there was a coupon so even though we're not out of soap yet i went ahead and got some since i was trying to get extras of things this is something new that we will have and then if we like it it'll definitely be something good to add to our stockpile because first of all it's organic it's a dry mix all you have to do is add chicken if you have it and it doesn't expire until 2023, but it's got everything in it that you need when you're making this recipe, except for the chicken, like I said. So, um, or beef, water or stock, which if obviously if you don't have chicken stock, you can add water. So this is something, a really good item to have in your stockpile that we're trying out. So I'll, hopefully we'll like that. Um, also applesauce pouches, not really a stockpile item, although we would probably stockpile applesauce at some point macaroni and cheese chips that's just for regular stuff my daughter's oat milk i got two of those uh, i've got chicken broth which we use a lot in our regular life but i also got a couple extra and i've already got a couple extra so that way i will definitely have some to add to my stockpile my oldest daughter cereal brownies because you can't go wrong with those hershey kisses because i need chocolate and i, I like these because one little Hershey kiss is enough to kind of give you that little boost of sweetness without like totally gorging and being crazy. But then these are for Saturday night when I do intend to premeditatively gorge on chocolate. Two of the Faye Greek yogurt that we use instead of sour cream. Well, my oldest daughter doesn't, but me and my youngest use those. Uh, organic chocolate chips. My youngest daughter uses those. I have to get the dairy-free ones for my oldest. Also, I got two more packs of these. Well, I say two more. I don't know that we've ever gotten this sugar cookie flavor we get this kind all the time it is gluten-free dairy-free nut-free and they are amazing they are so good i would eat these on purpose and i do sometimes eat these on purpose even though i have no allergies that i know of at this point but my daughter does and so she loves these you can eat them raw you can eat them cooked so they're amazing but we were thinking about christmas time and i was thinking the Christmas cookie mix that we use has all the things in it she can't have. So I got these for her because she can have them with her dietary allergy restrictions. But 
All I need to do if she likes these is just make her her own icing that she can have. Normally I make my own icing with just milk and powdered sugar, but I wonder how it would taste to do oat milk and powdered sugar and just kind of make her her own icing. So that's kind of our beginning of testing that theory out. And if that works out, then we'll use these for Christmas for her. A tomato, bananas, three things of milk. I got some shaved beef steak for my husband to make him some stir fry for lunch. And then these are the canned goods that I'm gonna be adding to our stockpile this week. We will be going to Costco here in the next week or two when the new ad starts, and um, then I'll be adding a lot more meat and maybe some other stuff too that I'm gonna be looking for. But I was really excited about this for several reasons because number one, our Kroger has been out of the organic green beans for months. They just got them back in like last time I ordered, I got a couple cans. I don't think I got all the ones that I asked for. So now not only are they in stock, but they're also on sale. Now granted, they are obviously more expensive already because all of these are organic canned vegetables, so they're gonna cost more just anyway. But with the price increases of everything, they still are more expensive than traditional, just conventional green beans. But the fact that they have them in stock and they were on sale and it was a good price for what they are, I went ahead and got eight cans of the organic green beans only um, four cans of organic peas. Nobody really likes them that much. We do eat them sometimes, um, but I don't really love them, so that's why I only got four cans. And then eight cans of the organic yellow corn. We eat that a lot. And then I got some northern beans. They're not organic, but they're really good. I have yet to find any organic northern beans that are actually any good. Um, so I don't know why that is, but these are really good, so we have those sometimes. So that is my grocery haul for today, or for this, week i guess i should say and this is the it says freezer inventory this is actually a editable free printable that i will link for you guys um so i'm just now in the like i just printed this out last night and i've already changed these categories from the categories they had to categories that i know i'm going to need it's not going to be for the freezer i will change the title also to say um stockpile inventory or overstock inventory something like that these are gonna be canned goods or any food item that I am keeping in our extra food storage area, and I'll show you that in a minute. I just made room for that literally two days ago. Um, these are gonna be, it's gonna stay in the kitchen, but it's gonna be telling me when I'm in the kitchen in my pantry what extra items that I have because we have a working pantry. And what I mean by that is when I come to get food to make dinner, um, it comes out of this pantry. This is may, our main food storage area for things we're using on a daily or a weekly basis. So as I'm constantly pulling from here, I'm gonna hang the stockpile checklist here so that I know, because my, my overstock or my stockpile food area is not in the kitchen, not all of it, at least not most of it. Um, a lot of it's gonna be in this new area that I have kind of created that I'll show you guys. So I'm gonna have that checklist hanging here um, so that I can see at any given time, not only what I have in here, but also what I have kind of a backup of. So whether I need to pull that out for, you know, when this container gets empty of corn, I need to get more corn, I will go to my stockpile, put the stuff from the stockpile in this section, and then I'll know I need to go to the grocery and start building up my stockpile again. That's what you mean by working pantry. It's you're eating what you're stockpiling, but you're constantly adding more as you use what you have stockpiled, if that makes sense. So that's why the checklist is gonna hang here. So that if I run out of corn, for example, I can look here and say, okay, I've got eight cans of corn in my stockpile. I'll pull the eight cans, put them here, and then I know to add corn to my grocery list so that I can replenish my stockpile. So it's a constant uh, first in, first out, and it's a constant rotation. And so that checklist is gonna hang here and really help me keep track of what is not visibly in front of me. Whereas, you know, it's off kind of in a closet, I'm not necessarily gonna remember every single thing I have. That checklist is gonna hang here and show me what I'm gonna have. Let me put all this stuff away and then I will show you my very beginning stages of my extra food stockpile. And if you want to see kind of some of the other stuff that I do keep in the kitchen, I will link the video that I showed um, about a month or two ago, kind of how I've got some stockpile items here kind of hidden away in the kitchen in sort of discreet areas or kind of out of the way but the overstock of that, and that's a word that I use because I used to work in retail. So overstock is all the extra things that you have that are not on the shelf, that are not necessarily visibly accessible. 
that overstock is what I'm working on now, making room for that, how I'm gonna organize it, and how I'm gonna keep um, an inventory of what I've got and what I need to still replenish. Okay, so this is the coat closet in our living room. You guys have seen it before. I've actually organized it a few times. I have, we cut in under the stairs, actually the other side of stairs last winter. So I'll link that video if you guys wanna see how we did that, because this is already under the, the top flight of stairs it was already this way when we moved in but we have two flights of stairs and so we were like i wonder what's under the second flight of stairs turns out it was just empty under there so we cut in drywalled it in ourselves and then use that for extra storage so i had to be a little bit creative with where i put the things that were here so that i had room to put our extra food storage in here so first thing i did was we had a shoe rack right here that took up this spot right there I took it apart and I got a back of the door shoe rack that mounts the door. It holds more pairs of shoes than the other shoe rack did anyway, which is exciting. And uh, it got rid of that thing there that I had. There's also a little white bookshelf you'll probably be able to see right there. And I'm going to climb back there in a minute and show you. We put that back there years ago and we're using it for other things, to store other things. But I knew that was pretty much the only place I had in the house to keep all of this extra food and it's not a huge space but this is all what i was talking about in that kind of um, prepping for beginners video where i said what to what to get and where to store it you have to really be creative and think about the spaces in your house you can switch around what can you move to make room for this now we're inside the back of the closet the water heater's back here so obviously you know that takes up some space but this is a kid's bookshelf we've had this since my oldest was little it used to be in her room and we were already using it. I used to have bins in here that had like command strips and light bulbs and type all those like, you know, extension cords and stuff like that that you need around your house. Um, I found other places to put those things and that way I could clear out this bookshelf and use it for food. I will probably have to get an extra light because when you're back here behind the coats, I'm using a flashlight right now. Um, but it does get kind of dark. So I need to get like a tap light or something to go like right there so we have some extra light but this is not an area that we come in and out of often obviously it's behind the coats it's under the stairs it's an odd space anyway so this bookcase was already working out here and if i really wanted to i could get a bigger one maybe a taller one and that may be something i may do in the future but for now this is working for what we need and i've got some room to grow so most of the stuff that is in these shelves is what i just picked up at the grocery store and i changed my inventory list to reflect the new amount so previously i only had six cans of green beans back here now i have 14. i have five cans of northern beans four cans of black beans um eight cans of corn two cans of peas uh four things of peanut butter six things of chicken broth so as you can see i'm just updating this every time i make a change back here this is that's not what i've got in my pantry that i'm using right now this is extra stuff that's what this checklist is for and I left the bottom cubes blank squares so that I can, as I'm going through this process, I'm gonna be learning a lot and changing things. So this is definitely a work in progress. At some point I will, you know, if I decide to fill these in or whatever, I will um, either laminate this and just use a dry erase marker so I'm not having to erase, I don't know. But this is still very early stages where I'm still learning how I'm gonna organize it. I'm still learning what system is gonna work best for me. Maybe this won't work long-term. Maybe it will, um, but you got to start somewhere. And so this is new to me. So I'm trying to figure out like the best way that my brain can organize this stuff and figure out what's where and how much I've got of what. So this is what I've got so far. L lots of room to grow. There is room on the top of the bookcase to put some things. Um, then down at the bottom, I just have the matches and some vitamin C stuff my husband takes. But that's it so far. Um, so I'm liking how this is working out. I like that I was able to rearrange what I already had in here and find other homes for those things so that I could use this bookshelf and I could use this kind of already awkward out of the way space for something that I'm not going to be accessing every single day. Okay, so that is my grocery haul for this week and a little bit of extra stockpiling items and what we have done in the very beginning stages to set up a little bit of extra room for our stockpile and a little bit of an inventory system to keep track of what we have, especially things that are not visible, I will tend to forget about. So having that inventory list will help me keep track of what we have in our stockpile that we can pull from if we need to, what needs to be replenished and things like that. So like I said in the beginning of this video, it's definitely an ever evolving process. 
um, as we get more things, as we learn more things, as we find more spaces in our house to put things. I'm sure things will change and grow over time, but I think that's kind of natural. That's the way it really probably should be. Um, and that's the way it has to be in our house because we don't have a dedicated pantry closet or you know a basement or anything like that. We have to find room in our house um, that is just part of the everyday storage that we have. Hopefully this video gave you some ideas and inspiration of ways you can put your stockpile in other places, maybe than the kitchen. Um, but still be accessible for you. Let me know in the comments if you want to see more pre more prepping videos, and if so, what types of videos you would like to see. That would help me out a lot. So, hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you're not already, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.